So this video is about the dog string in Python, which is, and I'm going to actually, let's just get rid of this. And I'm going to actually extend, uh, make my make my screen a bit bigger as well. I think it's Control Plus, right? Which is the um, the it, we've got a standard doc string, and actually, like I've, I've just um, pulled one up in ChatGPT over here, which is um, a typical doc string over there in Python. It's a typical doc string multi-line, and it goes in Chat. Just remember, I guess ChatGPT. You know, it is a large language model, so it's, it's, it's going to take one of the you know common formats off the web and, and kind of do it. But anyway, this is kind of like a standard doc string here, where you've got your args, um, your arguments in here. So these are the arguments, and a is an integer, and b is an integer, and and what what's inside is um, all the types at least are inside here. Now you could argue, and, and someone has done that, the um, integer bit here could be. Um, type um type hinted to but anyway so let, let's just copy this in and get this running so in fact i can just do copy code it could be even later than that copy code and i'll paste that into here and the thing is in, and i've posted this on stack overflow actually so you go over here and you've got this add numbers and notice that you've got args here a in um, add the first number and b in and actually come on the same line so it's almost as if it's broken in some kind of way. And one thing I noticed, and I, you know, I try to do things like this, for example, and my ones, um, I put the int afterwards, and you could argue that you can use type hinting, but it's quite nice for it to be in the doc string, obviously, for a number of reasons. And, you know, you do that and you still hover over it and it's still can, can, uh, in that way. And what I noticed was, um, I believe it's the first bracket something like that when you get rid of the first bracket on the second line it disappears so that's okay and it's like so you can do comments like this and some people do this is fine this works but the any doc string um, where the first bracket begins at the beginning appears to be broken at the moment and I actually went on to stack overflow which I've got down here and I think this is one of the questions and I actually posted that same question so kind of um you know I've constructed the minimal reproducible example and again I could have used chat GPT for this and this one works over here so if in fact if I take this function this is this is one that I created so I just go over here and I do the same thing so I have to find the function and when I hover over it perfectly fine so it's okay if I put the brackets over here with the type inside it I actually use type hinting here and and um, one of the comments was if you use type hinting up here like what why do you need to use type hinting down here so which is kind of like true actually but we see here like and, and here's I think here's a comment um, where is it let's go down show more comments um, just an observation um, I support um, I fully support the opening format issues uh, as in this is an issue there's something wrong with the linter in some kind of way in um, visual studio code related to python um, but it isn't the extra text uh, isn't the extra text redundant and, and the answer to that in a way is probably yes so it's a good point that you raise because you've raised your types or i've already told people what the types are here and that's what this person's saying like so you know um because you're you're violating the dry principle I, I presume that's do not repeat do not repeat yourself dry principle that's what it must be so um you know possibly so but nevertheless kind of you do you, there are cases where you might want the brackets to be in there so um yeah it's just uh, it's just something so it's an issue on um, visual studio code and it actually the, the same thing occurs if you go into a notebook so it's, it's not so here's my notebook i've got a blank one it's it's not a case that it's just in a python file um the same thing manifests itself in a notebook so if i was to take that and place it here it probably needed to do its thing Possibly, maybe I need to do a run to launch the, um, let's have a look, let's launch Python there. Right, there you go, it's all working. And if I hover over it, if I hover over the function, that's all working perfectly fine. We've got the args A, B, and C on separate lines. Let's just get this um, 
but if I was to take this one, in fact, I might try something new there, but if I was to take this one and paste it over here, as per like our sample doc string, let's hover over it, um, straight away it's broken over there. So, um, and if I was to take this boolean and I have experimented with this X and kind of like put it over here, that's perfectly fine, that's allowable. So it's almost as if it's, if the brackets is um, in the kind of like the first positions. So anywhere between, anywhere here, if, if that started anywhere here, it would fail. So I do that um, and that fails straight away without anything. Notably, like if you do it on the first one, it's fine. The first line is acceptable. So this is perfectly fine. And this one, so this one will be perfectly fine in its formatting over there. That's perfectly fine. So the str to go at the front is okay and not to be at the back. There we go. That's perfectly fine. So this one's broken. So it's like the brackets. Brackets are broken in some way. I'll call it brackets are broken. That's probably what I should name this. Uh, in this little video so yeah that's visual studio code not working properly a bug this is version 1.78 we can see our version somewhere i think which is help about uh, version 1.7 1.78.0 so it's kind of like the latest version i guess i could try and do an update or something um but yeah that's where we're at so uh, brackets at the beginning don't work but you can do, you could, number one, you could do type hinting, and number two, I guess, um, the solution at the moment is to do something else, um, possibly like this, which would work. So removing brackets at the moment. But that, that's not really a good solution in the sense that you might have written hundreds of functions, and, and there are modules and things where um, definitely the descriptors of the functions are written in what I, I'm, I'm just going to call it this um, this classical format over um, what, where is it if I put it out here this classical format over here um, you know we could type are there any other popular doc strings which there are you know, we'll, we'll see if now we'll go through a few and give you a few different types of docs. The NumPy format is one and the restructured text. So they're, they're ones that I'm familiar with. And anyway, I've seen these before because I have pulled up this chat once before. Um, but it'll pull it, we'll pull it up and we'll get some um, code for it and they would work. But who knows, maybe they might break at some point as well. So it's the first time I've ever seen this actually in a few years of using VS Code. It's, it's rather surprising. So provide examples. I'm going to have to write examples. Provide example. I'm just going to pull up the NumPy one. There we go. Provide example of NumPy doc format like that. Let's see what it does. Sure, here is an example. Um, so this one here might work. Is this one, the, the reason I don't use this is it, it's just a little bit too verbose. That some people might argue that's the right thing to do, um, but that's quite a large doc string there. That is really a complete doc string, where you've got the um, you've got your variable. You see they're called parameters here, and actually in our um, above doc string they're called arguments and there is a slight difference i think what a parameter is what's used and an argument is what's what goes in um possibly the other way around but it, but anyway um the parameters are here so like you've got x um and then you've got it what what its type is so like an integer and then uh, input values and then you've got spaces and the next one and i think by the way if i was to do something like this so if i was to re-bracket these up um, so I'll put this one in the brackets here and go back here, put this one in the brackets and I think put this one in the brackets. One thing that would work, I believe, is if I was to put spaces in it, all of a sudden it becomes fine. Although they're spaced out, so the spacing on it kind of like works. You might argue that it's cleaner, um, but at a certain point you're um, going to create... Um, too many gaps and kind of like you, you it, it's it's a utopia between getting a condensed doc string that's not too big but descriptive enough and helpful enough so I'll put these colons back for a second 
there we go and i think and the reason why i'm putting them back is i think that's the sphinx one which was another popular type of doc string over here oh the restructured text one there you go um example of restructured text doc string yeah, and sure here's an example of the quick sorts for this one and that's what I was talking about here I didn't quite um, replicate it um, completely correct but um, it kind of like puts it all on one line so and it'll give it it'll probably give a little comment at the end I think one of the things is these doc strings can be can, can be converted into actual help documentation which is useful as well um, I just tend to use them for the hover overs when, when, when I'm calling the code up here because they're quite helpful it's sort of like hints over here um, but let's just have a little uh, restructure. It's used to provide information about the, um, the param and the type directives, describe the argument and so forth. And then some kind of um, some linter or something afterwards will come and read through it and create a document documentation out of your doc strings. So if you document in a consistent way, that's what can be done. Um, the first element, uh, how it uses the first element of the list um, as as the pivot, um, how the partition sub into lists. Uh, note that the restructured text format uses colon uh, and space to indicate directive, which is followed by the name directive um, and its value. The value can span multiple lines and can in include uh, additional uh, restructured text for uh, for markup formatting. So yeah, I mean that's that's kind of like here. I mean what they have in this one here is a. It, Param array type again. It's kind of like telling you the type on a separate line. Maybe you know I should have the types on the separate line if you're going to do that. Uh, you know, and maybe it's true that you don't need the type at all because I've got the type hinting here. A is a string. Why do I need to tell people it's a string over here? Um, so you, you could argue um, all ways on that. So maybe for Although the, uh, I guess one counter argument is this wouldn't come out in the doc string now in the same way you'd have to look at the function. And this is called the function signature, this bit at the top. So I'd have to kind of like look at the function signature, albeit that it's already there. A is a string and then it's a random string that goes here. Um, and maybe you could say that you could put your um, types somewhere in the middle as well. But yeah, no brackets. Brackets don't work on VS Code.